We recommend using EverWeb version 4.1 or higher, for Mac OS or Windows, to use the features described in this video. You can still use this video if you are using a version of EverWeb prior to version 4.1, but some of the features and functionality described in this video may not be available to you. In the previous video, we looked at the different ways in which you can import your photos into EverWeb. In this video, we are going to look at how you can use EverWeb's Image Gallery widget to display your photos and images to their best advantage. We will cover the use of the responsive Image Gallery widget, image sliders, and other display options in other videos in this series. As a photographer, you will want to showcase your images in the best way possible on the internet. You will therefore want your images to look great, be displayed in the best way possible either individually or when grouped, and for your images to load quickly. Using an image gallery is a popular way to show off your work. If you are using a center aligned page in EverWeb, just drag and drop the image gallery widget onto your page from the widgets tab. If you are using a responsive page, first add a responsive row widget to the page, then drag and drop the image gallery widget on top of the responsive row widget. Add images to the image gallery widget by clicking on the choose button, then selecting the images you want to include. Alternatively, drag and drop the images from your computer onto the image gallery itself or into the image gallery's assets list area. To change the size of the widget, hold the mouse pointer down on a corner of the widget, then drag the corner to resize it. Notice as you do so that the image thumbnails will change as well. You can move the widget anywhere you want on your page by using the compass button located in the top right corner of the widget. You can also deselect the widget, and then click on it again, and begin dragging right away. If you want to rearrange the images in your gallery, you can drag and drop the image files up and down the assets list, or you can click on the image in the gallery itself, and drag it to where you want it to be placed. To delete an image, just select it and then use the delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, select the image in the assets list, then hit the delete key. Note that deleting images only removes them from the assets list in the widget, and not from your project. You can re-add deleted images at any time to the widget. To delete multiple images at one time, select the images as follows. If you want to delete multiple images that are listed one after the other, select the first image in the list, then hold down the shift key and select the last image. All images from the first to the last will be selected. Now use the delete key to remove them from the list. If the images you want to delete are not in a continuous list, hold down the command key whilst selecting each image on a Mac or the control key if you are using Windows. Now use the delete key to remove them from the list. You can easily add a caption to your image by selecting the image in the assets list, then typing in a caption in the image caption field. If you do not see all or any of the caption text, adjust the caption spacing value in the gallery appearance section of the widget settings. Add alt text to your image, which will benefit those who may be vision impaired or if your browser cannot display the image. Furthermore, alt text may also benefit your SEO. When adding alt text, make sure it only describes the image itself. For each image in the image gallery, you can set what happens if the visitor clicks on the image by using the mouse click action drop down menu. You can either select popover window, which will take you to the gallery slideshow. Go to link, which will take your visitor to another page in your site or to an external URL. Or you can choose no action, which is where clicking on an image in the gallery does nothing. The gallery appearance section of the widget settings is where you define basic display features of the image gallery. Images can be displayed in up to six columns. Use the spacing field to set the spacing between each column of images. You can also choose how many images you would like to have per page using the images per page option. For example, you may want six images displayed per page. 
Everweb will automatically create pagination links to the other pages in the image gallery. These links are located by default above the image gallery. As I click on each link, the images on the other pages in the gallery are displayed. Use the pagination options at the bottom of the widget settings to set where the links are displayed, either at the top, at the bottom, or at both the top and bottom of the image gallery. Check the styled pagination box to activate the pagination styling options. These options allow you to create styled pagination buttons. You can also change the font used for the pagination links. First, click in the pagination links area. You should see a blue selection box displayed. Click on the fonts button, then set the font and font size that you want to use. As the pagination links are hyperlinks, change the color and underlining of the links in the hyperlink formatting section of the hyperlinks tab. The gallery appearance orientation feature allows you to display the images in the gallery as either default, landscape, portrait, fit, or fill. If you are using the default or landscape orientation, you can also set the vertical alignment of your images to either top, middle, or bottom. In addition to being an image gallery, the image gallery widget also includes a slideshow feature. When a visitor clicks on an image in the gallery, they will be taken into the gallery slideshow, but only if the mouse click action field is set to pop up window. First set the image size to be displayed in the slideshow, using the image size drop down menu. Choose small for the fastest loading. Using large on the other hand, will result in the slowest loading. Alternatively, you can just choose original size if you prefer. Selecting the small option will ensure that your gallery loads fastest in the browser. For best results though, remember to always optimize your images if possible, before adding them to your project file. Slideshow time is the time in seconds that each image will be displayed for, unless the visitor clicks on the next or previous image. Check Autoplay Slideshow to automatically play the slideshow when the visitor clicks on an image in the gallery. If this option is not selected, the visitor will either need to click on play or manually click to see the next photo. Show social share buttons in slideshow will enable the X, formerly Twitter, Facebook like, and Pinterest buttons in the slideshow. If you do not want these buttons to appear, uncheck this option. You can also choose to include the full screen button and the download button in the slideshow. As a photographer or owner of the images you are displaying, it is likely that you would want to uncheck the download option. In the next video, we will turn our attention to EverWeb's responsive image gallery widget.